Are you? Are you mirroring me? If so, by the mixture of disgust, terror and pity on your face, I fear you have not got the full picture. For I could claim to be the first artist of empathy. Despite the profound reserve of my mode of expression, I dissolve the boundaries separating us each from each other, allowing the deepest, most tender merging of our souls. And how was this miracle achieved using only daubs of paste? Well, following from the great Tiziano, I melded figure and ground, thus pulling you into my world, embracing earth and heaven and humanity. This ambiguity also gave life to the pictorial moment, extending it and making it sing, resonate, pulse. Yes, fear, love, pride, grief flicker in my eyes as I silently hold your gaze. I once saw myself in a mirror. Perhaps my creator had put the glass opposite me as a provocation Perhaps he was simply reversing my image to reveal compositional imbalances. Or maybe, maybe, he wanted to show me to myself as I really am. For all my self-portraits were, naturally, mirror images. I, as his painting, could now reflect upon the handed truth. Surprisingly, it was this I initially found so shocking. I was back to front. Only after that was I struck by the freakish conglomeration of eyes, eye cheeks, eye nose, eye nostrils. But it was the ferocious bluntness of the representation that really terrified. Where my method had always been to modulate the inner anguish, he has pushed it right up front, thus embedding my humanity within a grotesquerie. And whose self-portrait am I? Dutchman or American? Maybe both, because we both are painters of pain. Painters. Through paint we merge. That moment is now well into its fourth century and is still singing. <laughs>